Hi, it's Jane here from craftwithjane.co.uk and today I'm bringing you this gorgeous little hand cream gift box um, and it's all lovely coordinating colours and I'm using colours from the new uh, in colour and I've got some um, hand cream and this is the argan oil one and it's got like this turquoisey colour which I thought went quite well with the summer splash um, and then I've got the um, pink version which is coconut which I absolutely love and I thought that would go with the pretty in pink and then I've got a little clip that holds it into place and just thought it's a lovely way to gift a little hand cream it stands up um, and it's got a just for you on the front as well so a uh, lovely little project today so I'm going to be using my um, paper trimmer to do my scoring because I need to do some scoring uh, on diagonally um, and I just find it easier um, to do it like this. So this is a piece of cardstock in the Pretty in Pink and it measures six and a half by seven. So on the um, seven, I'm just going to score it at one and a half. So I'll just move it along like this and then I will use my scoring blade to score it at one and a half. And then I'm going to turn it this way. I'm going to score it at one and a half. And then I'm going to score it at three. And then I'm going to score it at four and a half. Just like this. Such a great tool this is. A great crafting tool to have a scoring blade on your trimmer. And then I'm going to score it at six. Now I need to find the halfway point um, between this. So what I'm gonna do is move this to one side and then I'm gonna burnish along these lines just here. So I can get my bone folder out of my drawer. There we go, sorry. Then I'm gonna do that. Then I'm gonna do that. And I'll do exactly the same here, just like that. And then lastly, I'll do this one just like that. And then, so to just to get the halfway point, I'm just going to just use a pencil, I think. So I know that it is um, one and a half centimetres, so I need to get to the three quarters mark here. You can use a pencil or you can do use your little marker at the top there. But I'm going to get my pencil out and I'm just going to literally do that the paper trimmer like that and then I'm going to do exactly the same on this one but in the opposite direction because you've got the beauty of this um, trimmer as well and uh, scorer is that you've got the um, ruler going that side as well so I'll take to the three quarters again because I know that three quarters is half of one and a half and I will score it like that okay super I'm going to move this off to one side again and then I'm going to do some of my cutting because it just makes it easier when I come to do my diagonal scoring. So I'm going to trim down here like so and here. because This is going to be the tab that I glue. And then I'm going to cut up here, but I'm going to take away the bulk that um, from where I've scored. And then I'm going to do exactly the same here. So I'm going to go either side of my score line quite closely straight up like that do that along here it just takes out a little bit of the bulk when you're making um, I don't tend to do this with paper but I do tend to do this with card just think it sort of makes the finish on the project a bit nicer and then I'll literally bend them down and I just cut away the score line like so and then I do it again with this last one just like that, oops, just like that. And that is all of the cutting done. So now I'm gonna get my paper trimmer back out and I'm gonna do my diagonal scoring. So I'm gonna fold this away and I'm gonna start with this in my track where the dot is in my track. And then I'm gonna to go to this bottom corner and keep this in my track as well, just like so. And then I'll do this, a couple of score lines. Pull it up and you can see I've got a lovely diagonal line and I'm going to do exactly the same. So I'm going to start with that in my track, take that to the edge of my track like so and before you know it you've got a lovely, um, I've caught the edge of that but it doesn't matter and you've got a lovely little um, diagonal scoring just in there then. 
And then I'm going to do exactly the same with this one. So I'm going to take it to the edge just like so. And then I'm going to do exactly the same fold out of the way and start at the centre. And then take it to the edge, the corner just here. And that is the side scoring then just there and obviously I'm gonna rub out my little pencil marks as well just like that perfect so now I've got my two pieces of the designer series paper and for this um, project I've used the unbounded beauty and it does have this gorgeous coordinating paper that matches the pretty in pink as well as the summer splash in it so that is um, what I'm choosing to use I'm going to use a little bit of liquid glue and I'm going to put it on the full panels that are not going to be, um, they're not scored in diagonally. And then I'll just literally just pop a little bit of this on and put, pop them in. If you've got directional paper, just be very careful that you're putting it uh, so that it doesn't um, go the wrong way, upside down. And then just press that down and I'll do exactly the same on this side, just a little bit at the top. Such a great little simple project. Like this, and I'll pop it this way, like so. And give that one second to dry then. So next I'm going to um, glue my tabs. I'm going to get some of my tear and tape and just pop a little strip close to my score line like that. And I'll use my take your pick tool to pull this up like that. And then if I bend this first one over and this last one and they will meet up just like so. And then I have my box. So while I'm here and I haven't done my bottom part of the box, I'm just going to push this in a little bit where I've scored just to show um, my my box when I've when it's complete, how I would like it to uh, fold like that. I'll do exactly the same on this side. So I'm literally just gently folding down that score line to um, so when I come to make the box, it knows what I need it to do, basically. And then I'm going to um, glue the base of my box. So I'm going to use some liquid glue for that again. So I'll just pop this out and a little bit like this. There we go, a little bit like this. And then for the last one, I'm just going to go around the edge. Sorry. So for this last one, I'll just go around the edge like so. There we go, and press that down. So I had to swap those over then because I realized that I'd scored a little bit on one of those edges. And then press it down like so. And then I'll put my gorgeous coordinating coconut hand cream inside. It's got a lovely little fit in there. And then I'm just going to put my little clip on like so. And that is the box made, which just looks so pretty, doesn't it? So that's the start. Then um, to decorate, I have so for my sentiment, I have used the Unbounded Love stamp set and I've got the um, Just For You, which is just down here. And then for the circles, I've used the fabulous Spotlight on Nature dies and I've used this one and this one, which I think think ah oh, I think they're the other side so there's a, there's lots of circle dies in this and they're gorgeous and I've used the coordinating pretty in pink um, ribbon and I did use the um what color yeah the summer splash uh, ribbon for the other one so just gonna cut off a little bit and then I can play with it and trim it as I'd like to so I'll just do that with it oops I've cut off my piece there and then I will um, glue that to the back I think and for this I'm going to use some of my Stampin' Seal Plus 
back it's got great sticking power and then if I do that and I do something along the lines like that there you go it's quite cute isn't it and then I'm going to pop this on with stamping dimensionals because you know me love a little bit of elevation so i'll just get some of my stamping dimensionals out pop three on i think so i'll just put one there one there and one there and then get the backs off love a little bit of lift you can't beat it can you and then i'll pop that and now i'm going to face this to me i'm going to try and center it it is a handmade project, so it doesn't have to be perfect. But there we go, that looks quite sweet, doesn't it? Yeah, happy with that. And then on the back of here, I'm gonna use some of that tear and tape to um, make sure that my ribbon stays down and so that it can stick onto the project really well. So I'm just gonna use three little strips across it, like so. And I'll get my take your pick tool back out. And take this off. All of my measurements uh, will be on my blog post, which I'll link below for you. And they will be in imperial inches as well as metric centimeters. There we go. Oh, I just love the colors. And then I'm gonna centralize this relatively, uh, like so. I might just snip the edges here a bit better. white as long there we go lovely so that's that and then lastly of course you need to have a little bit of a sparkle so i've got the 2024 to 2026 in color shimmer gems accordingly one of the things i really love about stamping up is this color coordination that they do and it is stunning absolutely stunning so i'll pop i think one there and then just a little one here maybe like that oh love it love it so much these are my hand cream gift boxes and the, i've used the unbounded beauty um for the designer series paper and the unbounded love for the sentiments as well i really hope you like them this is such a simple way to gift a gorgeous um little hand cream um, and it's just for you i mean i just think you can't say it's a bet it's no better sentiment when you're gifting is there um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed and I hope you've crafted along with me. So if you are um, interested in purchasing any of the products I've used or any Stamping Up products at all, please do consider shopping with me. If you live in any of the countries in Europe Stamping Up sells and you don't already have a demonstrator, I would be honoured to earn your business. Each month I send out thank you packs to customers with qualifying orders. Also, if you're interested in joining Stamping Up, um, we would be honoured if you chose to join our lovely little team. Um, we've got a great bunch of guys that um, are really supportive and lovely. Um, and we do, I do send out, um, sort of every couple of months, send out a little um, gift uh, to my team members just to say thank you for being part of the team. And we do um, communicate regularly as well. So um, we would love to have you. Uh, again, you have to be um, a, somebody that lives within any of the countries in Europe that Stamping Up sells in. Okay, I'm going to say bye for now, guys, and happy crafting.